So the next size hole is point three nine oh five. <laughs> and I don't have a setting ring to set that. These are setting rings here. So what I do instead is I use an old bench micrometer that's really an oldie but a goodie. It's a Tomiko, and that's before <laughs> shared Tomiko. And of course, this is a Boeing tool here. I've got the Boeing control number there. This, uh, this tool here is really old. I don't know, it's probably 60 years old. So I can set that right on this barrel, and this sets directly two tenths. Okay, so I got that set, and this has an anvil with a V groove that lifts up, and it makes it uh, suitable to set uh, this uh, split type uh, dial bore gauge. And, and I check it on, on other sizes that I have uh, rings for, and it checks out very, very good. So I slip that in there and zero it. And it's pretty close, but it takes both hands to, to do this, and I'm holding on to the camera. But you can see how that anvil, let me make sure and get that ball in there. See, it keeps it from dropping through. Let's see if I can get that held straight. And you can see what I mean. Oh, I, it, it's on. It goes right to zero, I think. Oh, maybe it's a little off. Boy, it looks real close. About a, about a, yeah, it's a few tenths off. Okay. So I'll use that to gauge this hole here to that next size up. And um, I will set this and lock the more head for that final uh, diameter. Now, this uh, it's not really worthwhile using gauges like this uh, on this machine here. For one thing, it doesn't produce a really great finish that you need for uh, fine reading dial bore gauges. Okay, I'll put that back in its little spot, and we'll get over there, and we'll start cutting. All right. 